we'd like to introduce you to Greenland on a more geographic level. Let's get our bearings. Greenland is a sizable island located in the Arctic between Canada and Iceland. You know, the big white landmass at the top of the globe that perhaps you or your guests have flown over when jet-setting between Europe and North America. Yes, on the map, Greenland looks absolutely gigantic, but in reality, its landmass is not quite so overwhelming. For comparison's sake, Greenland is about the width of France and Germany put together, and its length stretches from southern Norway down to the north coast of Africa. And for a North American reference point, Greenland covers more or less the entire east coast of the United States. Let's take a closer look at Greenland at the regional level and spend some time discovering what makes each area unique. There are five distinct tourism regions in Greenland, plus the national park. As there is no tourism infrastructure in the park, like lodges or trails, we focus all our marketing efforts on the five regions and the main towns within each. While we profile each region, we will introduce the primary towns and settlements which have tourism offerings. Just so you know, in most cases there are actually even more settlements within the region, but which are not active in the tourism industry at this time. The five regions are North Greenland, Destination Arctic Circle, the Capital Region, South Greenland, and East Greenland. Let's briefly take a look at the standout selling points for each region. Please note the elements which we are about to mention are those which the regional operators themselves identify as their defining elements. However, there are dozens more experiences available than just these, which we will cover in the coming online courses. Let's start with North Greenland. The Ilulisat Ice Fjord is one of the region's greatest attractions. It lies within a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and as it is created by one of the fastest moving glaciers on the planet, it has become sort of ground zero for studying climate changes. Needless to say, it gets quite a lot of international media coverage and visitors. What is an ice fjord exactly? It's 40 kilometers, or 25 miles, stretch of sea packed bumper to bumper with absolutely gigantic icebergs. When we say gigantic, we're talking enough ice to cover the area of 30 football fields with a height of Mount Everest. These icebergs have calved, or broken off, from the glacier that lies at the innermost point of the fjord. Travelers can experience the fjord by taking flight seeing tours overhead, walking along marked hiking routes, and even sailing amongst the icebergs that lie at the westernmost point of the fjord. Another defining element of North Greenland is the high concentration of towns and settlements within Disco Bay. In winter, helicopter flights are the lifeline that connects these places to one another, and in summer, passenger boats with fixed routes take over as the primary transportation method. These towns and settlements have similar sought-after icebergs and stunning nature, but each with its own individual charm. North Greenland is actually the world's largest municipality by land area, and with 40 individual towns and settlements, you get the picture that it's vast. The majority of tourism offerings are in the Disco Bay area, with Ilulisat as the key entry point, being that it has an international airport. A convenient circular boundary is created with the settlements of Ilimanak and Okatsut, the towns of Kasigiengwit, Asiat, and Kakotoswak, and of course Ilulisat. North of a large peninsula in the coastline lie the towns of Umanak and Upernavik, which are best suited for small groups and individual travelers. Moving south along the west coast, we come to Destination Arctic Circle, which is a unique region as it has both coastal and inland offerings. The Greenland Ice Sheet is one of only two ice sheets in the world, and imagine being able to access it by nearly door-to-door -door bus service. Destination Arctic Circle is home to a 26-kilometer, or 16-mile, unpaved road that leads adventurous travelers directly to the edge of the ice, where they can do glacier walking day tours and even camp overnight with a guide. The Arctic Circle Trail is another defining element of the region. It is a marked route through a land of 100 lakes. Wilderness seekers and nature lovers 
find more than a week of summer happiness as they traverse this stretch of fresh air and wide landscape that exudes Greenlandic beauty from the ice sheet out to the coast. In winter, dog sleds, snowmobiles, and the occasional fat bike with tires especially equipped for snowy terrain are the norm. The Arctic Circle Trail connects the settlement of Gengarhlutschwak, which sits inland at the base of the longest fjord in Greenland, with the town of Sisimut, which lies on the coast, as almost all towns do. Menitsak is the other town in Destination Arctic Circle, which together with the settlement Kengamut are a fantastic heliskiing area. One more hop down the west coast brings us to the capital region. The capital region is the hotspot for contemporary culture in Greenland. The colorful capital, Nuuk, is often called the Arctic metropolis, and here you will find fascinating Greenlandic culture in every way. Modern design, cosmopolitan fashion, art, a lively music scene, and the University of Greenland. Getting a taste of Greenland is also a must-try experience in the capital region. With the largest concentration of fine restaurants, locally owned cafes and eateries, as well as a microbrewery right in city center, there's a new place to try for every meal. Go all out Greenlandic and taste whale blubber, called Metek, or find global classics given a slight Greenlandic twist, like muskox burgers and crowberry ice cream. Nuuk is not only the main driver for the capital region, but also for the entire country, as it is the administrative center. With just over 17,000 residents, it is by far the largest inhabited place in all of Greenland. It's also the most diverse place in Greenland, as more than 20% of residents were born outside of the country. Just a few hours from Nuuk lies Kapisitli, a settlement with quaint cottages and guest houses, and opportunities for hiking, hunting, and fishing. At the southernmost tip of Greenland lies the region called South Greenland. South Greenland is unique thanks in part to its Viking history. Some 1,000 years ago, Norse Vikings landed on the southwest coast and set up settlements peppered along a protected fjord. While these settlers are long gone, the ruins of their churches and farmsteads remain and are preserved in spectacular condition. Travelers love to follow the path of the sagas, walking in and amongst the ruins, watching 10th century reenactments, and debating theories on why the Vikings mysteriously disappeared. Another defining element of South Greenland is the hot springs at Unnato. Both body and soul relax when slipping into the nature's warm bath. With the simplest of facilities just alongside the hot spring, one has an unencumbered view to the mountains and icebergs floating in the fjord just steps away. A handful of towns, settlements, and single-family sheep farms, many of which overlap with locations of previous Viking settlements, are scattered throughout to Nuhljofig Fjord from end to end. Nasoswak is the settlement with the international airport, and from there, other settlements like Kasiarsuk and Igaliko, plus the towns of Kokotok, Narsak, and Nanotlik, are accessible by helicopter flights and boat routes. More active travelers have possibility to walk from place to place. Finally, the southeastern portion of the island is known as East Greenland. Dog sledding is a sacred tradition in this region. In winter and spring, mushers use their dogs, which are working animals, to go out on the frozen fjord for ice fishing, or to cross frozen lakes and snow-covered wilderness to reach other settlements. Travelers can take dog sledding tours lasting a few hours or a few days, and those who want can even try commanding the pack and getting their very own sled driver's license. Due to East Greenland's proximity to the Gulf Stream, this region sees huge ice flows coming down from the North Pole. Through flight seeing tours and sailing tours, your guests can experience these infamous natural phenomena and learn that not all ice is created equally. With one town, Tasilak, and six settlements on the entire east coast of Greenland, this is one of the most remote places on Earth. Just over 3,000 people live here, which is only 6% of the entire Greenlandic population. A few of the settlements, like Ihlokotomut and Kulusuk, have hotels and local tour operators 
to give travelers a taste of remote settlement culture.